Brother Jesus, good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Yes, good afternoon. We are now on this segment very fast and let us see uh, what you guys have for us in this talk so that we can get the other artists ready for uh, the next segment. Thank you so much, Ada Jesus. God bless you, sir. Uh, Pastor Prosper, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Ada Jesus. Good afternoon. Good well, afternoon, Bobby. Uh, I welcome this is a new program uh, which, uh, which we have the world from the Kingdom Radio. We want to encourage every African, we want to encourage every Christian, every child of God to work hard, to focus on your uh, on your goal, to, to arise from your slumber, wake up from your sleep. Let, let us change the world. Let us, because we are the choosing one. Bible says we are the choosing generation. We are peculiarly made. We are not made to suffer. So this is a vision that we want to uh, we want to embark on from Kingdom Radio Live to you know to uh, encourage every child of God out there to encourage every youth out there to encourage every African out there. So let us rise up. Let us arise and shine because the Lord has given us the power, the dominion, the, 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 the race to be whomsoever, whatsoever we want to be. All we need to do is to take the bull by the horn. So today we are going to kick off with this program. We encourage you, please invite your friends, share this program. Remember, when you are sharing, you are sharing the word of God also. Because the Bible says, as they receive the Holy Spirit, they preach the word of God, even to the ultimate part of the earth. So it is your duty, your obligation as a child of God to share the word of God, to, to help uh, uh, share the uh, gospel of Jesus Christ. I encourage you, invite your friends, share our program, share it to your friends, share it on your, on, on your uh, uh, page. Don't forget to give like and comment. Your comment is very important. Your opinion is very important. Because if, if, if we are discussing what concerns us and you are not participating, then we are not doing something because we need to know your opinion. We need to know what you think about what we are saying. How can you, how, we need your contribution so that we will move faster. So if you have a, a, com a comment, you have a contribution, please don't forget to put it on the comment section. Before we finish the program, we are going to check on if there is any uh, question any uh, uh, contribution, we are going to uh, uh, mention you and maybe give attention to your comments. Please, uh, it is very important. And this uh, program, Arise Africa, we are going to do it every week, every Saturday we, we will have us here, and we are going to invite people of different, from different parts of the world with different vision, with different opinion, with different way of seeing life, so that they can give us, because we need, we need something that will wake us up. We need something that will, that will energize us. We need to hear, because Bible said that faith comes through hearing, and hearing the word of God. We need a word of encouragement to energize our youth to wake up. So we are going to invite people from different uh, uh, places all over the world. Don't miss this program every Saturday by 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. We will be live on Facebook. You can follow us on our page, Kingdom Radio and 94.9 FM uh, page. You can also follow us on YouTube. Just type Kingdom Radio. Mm -hmm. Arise Africa, you will see our program. You can share it to someone because our goal is to reach as many people as possible who want to wake up life, want to wake up emotions, dead emotions, who want to wake up hopes from people from our people because time has come. Time has come when we we have to take the bull by the hand. We don't have to still remain in the complaint. We don't have to still remain where our forefathers are. No, we ought to advance. We ought to uh, 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 go move forward. God bless you as you follow us today and all every week in the name of Jesus Christ. As we continue, 
I think I'm going to give uh, Pastor Prosper. Today we have uh, Pastor Prosper all the way from Nigeria. There's the uh, uh, the CEO. I think he will be better to uh, introduce himself. Uh, he's going to speak on the topic today that we try to uh, uh, be a goal getter. Be a goal getter. I know he's a, a very motivational speaker. He's a man full with the anointing. He's going to give us the word that we would, uh, we would benefit or, of and that will be a, a help to our life that will, be, that, will, that will be like a step that we will follow to clap up. God bless you, uh, Daddy. Uh, you can proceed. Oh, God bless you, Ada Jesus. Um, when I heard about this uh, uh, program, um, I can see that's a starting body in your heart. And I know that we can work together because already I have a body about Africa, which I, in a few months from now, I have a book I titled Reawaking the Giant in a Black Man. We are waking um, the giant in a black man. Now, I want you to, to know that if you want to, it's a project, it's not a program. What you have said is actually a project. Because the project is about the mindset of a black race. And we, if we want to solve the problem of a black man, we must not forget to go back to history. The question now is that when the black man comes to this level we are today, because the Shake Bible very well, when God created man, he said, let us make man in our own image. All men, whether black, white, no matter the color was created the same day, the same way. Now, all men were created equal. All men, I want us to understand, all men were created equal. But it's the thinking that makes the difference. It's a very nice program, and I know that the God will strengthen you. And at this time, I will speak from the mind of Christ concerning the blood. And I want us to know that God himself is depending on us for the last movement before Christ will come. If God is the of black race, we are the last hope of God's government before Jesus will come back. There is a hope for every African man. But what you need to know that we should understand God's purpose for us. We are very important. And that's why when Jesus Christ was dead and when was the cross, the last man that helped him to carry the cross was a black man. If we shake all over the history, the black man is not inferior. We must understand it. We must understand it. Why yes, I want sir. to make my once a man lost his identity, if he lost his identity, you have lost all in life. Forget about the lies that the Western world have said about black people. I want to say it more and plain that what we came to do is to devalue us, to reprogram our mind to think the way we are thinking. I thank God for that Jesus that God has put this body. I know the African people are going to their right. And I encourage everybody to tune up on this same session every week to listen to what the Lord has to do say for us. We are not inferior to any color. We are not inferior to any nation. We are not inferior to any continent. We are created the same way God created every other person. All we need to do is to arrive and take our place in the in the Lord. So what I want to say this afternoon is that the history is it in fourth century, some certain color sat down to devalue some certain people to think the way they think. And say some people are slave, some people are half human being, half animal. It's a life of the put of hell. Because God created man in his own image. Whether you are color white, color black, God created you. Now, one of the things I want us to listen to what Ada Jesus has brought today is that one of the things I say about ministry, churches in Africa, is that we should stop teaching people about miracle. Miracle does not change anybody. Miracle does God bless not change you. anybody. Run away from miracle and pay attention. Of five help us to get some certain things right. <laughs> Stop promising to miracle. We should understand that in the kingdom of God, that kingdom of God operates by knowledge. My people say my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Once you get the knowledge of God, a lot of things are going to work. 
And one of the big, biggest miracles of man is planning. Like he's telling us to have to set a goal, to have a target. We need to work on planning. Planning is very important. God can never plan for you. I want to talk about Africa. If you check about America with history, they have a plan for over 300 years. Every nation that is doing well will never go <laughs> after planning. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 1. He said that the planning belongs to man, but the answer of the thoughts belongs to God. One thing the blacks should start putting right. Prayer does not confess. Planning confess. Planning is to give God something to work on your behalf. Planning to make God to work on your behalf. For 2021, what plan do you have? God is not the kind of magician that is presented to him every time from the altars, from his ministries. No. Get your plan so that God will have something to work in your life. And I want to assure you that the season we are is a season of results. God is after results. I want to tell you that God is after results. Go and Amen. check your Bible. God created Amen. you to make a profit from your life. The day you discover that God created you to make a profit. And that's why Proverbs chapter, Revelation chapter 4, verse, verse 11. They say, all that have created for God's pleasure. For God's pleasure, that's something God wants to gain in your life. That's why you can see that our sister now, she left everything that she can do for her family, for herself, and spend her money and her time to come on the air to make sure we get this right. To get this right. And once you begin to put planning in place, I can tell you before the six months of this new year, you will see the kind of results you are going to get. Remember, prayer is important, but prayer does not confess. Prayer is important. Prayer does not confess. What confess is planning. We neglect the place of planning and we go after prayer. We neglect the, the place of knowledge and we go after prayer. We neglect the place of wisdom and we go after prayer. All these things must be put in place. Because what is prayer? Prayer is for you to invite heaven to come and do something on your behalf. But you must have something to give to God. And that's why many people from year to year, nothing changes. And we're using this platform to let people know that Africans should go more on planning before praying. Let me say something again. We have seen that people say that prayer is the master key. I'm not against prayer. Prayer is one of the keys of the kingdom. Prayer is one of the keys. Very important key. Why we say that I give you the keys of the kingdom? There's a place, there's a key of knowledge, there's a key of wisdom, there's a key of fasting, there's a key of... Uh, of planning, but the greatest key yet we are missing in Africa is a key of love. It's a key of love. Now, some times ago, I've been on the air, I thought of five important kingdom principles that if you want to make it a life, you must understand it. The first one is self-love. And black man, first of all, you must love yourself. If you want to succeed in life, it's not about loving people now. It's about you loving yourself. Self-love makes a difference. Number two, there was a self-value. Don't allow anybody to value you. What the Western world did, they came to devalue Africa. They came to devalue to make us to think the way we are thinking. And that's the office. They were still looking upon them for solution. It is wrong. The solution of every man must come from God. We should move our eyes from them. I have watched in Africa, what did they say? We are calling for national community to come and help us. We don't need help from them. I want to say it for complaint. If Africa will get the identity back, it is the Western world that needs us to go with them. Because everything about man to succeed is in the land of Africa. But Africa is living in poverty because we lack what they call self-value. If you understand that a self-love, you must have what they call self-belief. We begin to believe in ourselves. For you to get the kind of hope, for you to get the kind of result, God wants you to get you must believe in God and believe in yourself. Self-belief gives you confidence. Self-belief, remember five kingdom principles. And one is self-love. We lack love in Africa. We must learn to love ourselves because one time our love, love plays value in your life. Anywhere there's a love, you see value. The advantage of getting love that we begin to value ourselves. Number two, you must have a self-value. You see, the Bible says that a man that is in honor and understandeth not is like a beast. God has honored the black, 
They have honored the white. We should go for the kind of honor that are given to us. We should take away inferiority life from our greater believers. I have seen a lot of believers, I feel a lot of child of people, child of God, they are living a low mental life. That is not why God created us. That is not why. You must know your value. Your value is in Christ. Your value is not in any material thing. It's not in money. Your value is in Christ. Number three, you must have safe love. Self love, self belief. You must learn to believe yourself. Until they will begin to believe yourself, but never get that kind of hope, that kind of resource. As I'm assuring you, believe yourself. You can never, God on your side, you can never fail. God on your side, you can never disappoint. Him. Try to have confidence. And this is what is keeping me in Africa. And that I'm taking time with a team of professors and writing a book. That book is going to send to every African embassy. All over Nigeria, they must get it. They call it reawakening the giant in a black man. There are something about the black man, but it's only the Holy Spirit to open our heads of understanding to see. There's something about the life. As you are hearing us at this hour, listening to me very, very well, there's something about the life. There are so many gospels that cannot help Africa. I tell you, you need to get connected to the kingdom message. It will bring your family back. It will bring the love of God in your life back. It will bring your heart. The fourth one is self esteem Don't allow anybody to stimulate you. Don't allow anybody. You are more than what you think. You are more than what you call you. You are more than the way people are looking at you. You are not poor on the truth that you are poor. You are not down on the truth that you are down. You need to awake and make sure that you get this right for you to get the kind of hope or resort God wants you to get for 2021. And I'll show you, God is depending on African people for the last move before the Christ will come. Go and check your Bible. The last move is coming from Africa. They must get ready to when the Son of Man shall return. They will meet God. Don't forget the Bible says that the first shall be the last and the last shall be the first. Check it very well. Those who thought that already possible will be at the last. The one that has been rejected, I'm telling you, will be at the top. And that was my story in every African person. That the Lord said to tell you, awake, awake, and get things done. And I want us to know, once you understand those principles of God, I tell you, you know, at times there are so many things that are corrected from this same station. Don't allow anybody in the name of faith prophecy to devalue your life. You are more than that. If only the Africans will go back and get the accurate knowledge of God. Because today we run churches based on sense knowledge. It cannot take you anywhere. Get a knowledge of God. Make sure that you have been activated the mind of Christ in your own heart. You will get this right. So as we are encouraging you, the only way for you to succeed is to have the mind of Christ. This mind of Christ is a mind of possibility. It's a mind of faith. It's a mind that can never give up. It's a kind of mind can never bow to pressure of life. This is a mind, when you have this kind of mind of Christ, it will succeed. And I keep on saying it, as our sister has come with this body, we must awake to get our place in the kingdom. We must awake. God is not the God of black. God is not the God of white. God is a God of man. And God made man in his own image and his own likeness. And that is in chapter 1, verse 26. The day a white was created, was the day the black was created. And all men were created equal. All men were created equal. I gave some stories, some histories about the public engineering against the black race. In 1700, when the Western people came to Africa, in Congo, and took a young man and went to zoo and bring chimpanzees to this side and the right to the other side. And he said that a black man is made out of chimpanzees. It's a life of the feet of God. All these things is to devalue you, to affect the way you think, to affect the way you reason. A great child of God, you are created in God's image. All men you are created in God. All men you are created in God. All men you are created in God. There are something inside your life. The day you discover it, I tell you, the whole world will celebrate you. I mean, God is after result. 
and I'm encouraging every black man, black race, anywhere in the world to connect to this same station. Pay attention to what the vision God has given to our sister, Ada Jesus, because it's a project. Not a program. This sister, that this is a project, it's not a program. Because the first yes. project on the earth is the reconstruction of human mind. Is reconstruction. Your program is going to restructure so many people's minds to put it right. When people begin to go after knowledge, understanding how God has designed things to work. And that's why he told us, I give you the keys of the kingdom. Key is a code. You get the key of God by knowledge. I give you the mysteries of the kingdom. That means through knowledge, you will succeed in life. Not by miracle. We should stop encouraging people for miracle. Go and study Psalm 78. You see what miracles are in Israel. At the time they are causing God. Miracle does not change anybody. Miracle does not change anybody. God operates by friendship and by love. Once you master the friendship of God, he will succeed. He will succeed. He will succeed. So I stop here. For more questions, for us to talk to people more, but remember what I'm telling you. Forget about don't run after miracle. Miracle is meant for unbelievers. For you who are already in the kingdom, you need to master how the keys of the kingdom of grace and the mysteries of the kingdom, and you get the kind of code with the vision God gave to our sister. And I know that this 2021, hey, this 2021. The world will celebrate you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, Pastor. Uh, Pastor, I just want to ask you a question based on our topic today, which says, be a gold breaker. Can you hear me very well? I'm hearing you, ma'am. Uh, based on our topic today, which says be a goal getter, be a goal getter. And from what you have just said, you say that we should not uh, focus on a uh, miracle, uh, but we should work hard for we to get uh, what we want. So I uh, ministers of God, preachers of the word of God, pastors, because you know, uh, leaders of faith, they are the, they are they are people that manipulate great minds. They control half of the world. Because as you can see today, almost everybody has something in he or she believes. And the leaders of this, uh, they are the one uh, in, in one way or the other, directly or indirectly, controlling the mindset of people. So, are you encouraging them who are the who are the speakers to? Preach to teach people on how to be a goal getter instead of sitting down waiting for a sudden miracle that they have not worked for. God bless you, sir. Yes, um, my sister, I thank you so much. Is I told you before, this is a wonderful project. Now we need to study the Greek philosophers. We need to study the first century leaders. Is the same tricks that they have used to rule the entire world is the same thing that our leaders in the church is using today. They call it mind control. Like, like I encourage everybody, see, let me tell you, as far as you are a child of God, you don't seek miracle. You don't seek miracle. Don't forget the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and righteousness. Every other thing shall be added unto you. It is your father's pleasure to give you those things. So seek after God, seek after knowledge. And we are telling ministers all over the world to stop that game. It is satanic, it is evil, promisable by sowing seed. By sowing seed, miracle will happen. This is evil. We have been condemned that this is another Jesus, another gospel, and another spirit. This is what things that Paul saw. Miracle have destroyed so many people's life. Miracle and uh, Nigerbet, like jackpot, is the same thing. There's no difference between miracle and jackpot. There's no difference between miracle and uh, what they call it, lottery. But I tell you that if you are the kingdom, all you need to do is to study the keys of the kingdom and know a particular key you should use for a particular problem. Every challenge in life, the kingdom has solution, and the solution come as a code. It can someone that going to ATM to get money. Uh, sister, Ada Jesus, your own password cannot access my own money. 
and my your own password. So we need to have a code. That's what they call the keys of the kingdom. He comes by knowledge. And that's why religion has been the highest problem we have in Africa. Politics is not a problem. The greatest challenge we have in Africa is religion. Lying to people, conditioning people's mind. I have said it here, they call it satanic engineering against black race. That's what they're seizing in the church. People should run away from miracle. It does not change anything. And we are telling the ministers, enough is enough so that we are going to get it right. And God bless you. God bless you, God bless you sir. I still have one more question for you. Uh, considering our <laughs> topic, today, be a goal getter. Be a goal getter under the program Arise Africa. Or as you have said, a project Arise Africa and be a go getter. And my question is that uh, as as Christians, there are many Christians out there who who, who manipulate this particular word of God that you have just said. Uh, Seek here the kingdom of God first, and every other thing will be added unto you. They are using to manipulate many minds that you don't have to go and study because you can study. If God is not with you, you will do nothing. All you have to do is to be in the church Monday, be in the church Tuesday, be in the prayer Wednesday, be prayer Thursday. So many, many, you, you will see some youth, instead of them to go and study, instead of, instead, of, instead of them to go and be a master of something, they are in the churches, they go. So my question is that... Okay. Um, I'm using the... Uh, my, uh, I'm coming. My question is that uh, maybe... Uh, I want to, I'm hearing you, Adah Jesus. Can you hear me? Okay. I'm hearing very well. Uh, so my uh, the question I wanted to ask you is that is it uh, is it biblically is it uh, is it any word of God that encourage that we as a Christian we should be prepared we should be professionals we should be a, a master of what we are doing in order to stand do we have the right to to aim for greaterness do we have the uh, uh, right as christian to aim for for big things to you know to, to is it a sin to work for a greater thing in life as a person god bless you sir. well uh, Ada jesus thank you thank you very much one thing we should understand that god is a god of order and he created everybody according to a purpose, according to God's purpose. Now, even when we are setting a goal, we must set it based on God's agenda. And you see, God has invested into every soul, you see. Like I've said it before. Like, don't forget that when Adam was created, God did not give him shear. A shear was hidden inside the tree. Even the a lot of things we are create, put inside the shear, inside the tree. And God said, Proverbs chapter 25, is the glory of God to conceal a matter and the honor of a king to search it out. You see, we use prayer to do a lot of covering in Nigeria. And that's when you go and read the book of Matthew 23, you see what the Pharisees, you see what the Pharisees have done in the past, and that's the same thing people are doing. So the issue is that it is good to dream big, like myself, I have a big dream to touch one million people in Africa, one million children in Africa, and take them from street and take them to school, which we have started. I have a big dream, because that dream is not about me, it's about God. So we are encouraging every Christian, the dream you have, the vision you have, is not about you, it's about the kingdom of God, because we are here to expand the kingdom. It is our duty to expand the kingdom. Don't forget the Bible say, occupy till I come. The kind of gospel we are hearing cannot allow us to occupy. The kind of gospel we are hearing is meant the pastor to build big auditorium. And we are boasting in Nigeria. In Nigeria, we have the biggest auditorium all over the world. Oh my God, this is a shame to the gospel of Jesus Christ. We don't need big auditorium. We need Christians that have a big heart. They have the mindset of the kingdom that goes after the my kingdom agenda and make sure that the kingdom of God will be established in every part of the world, in your community, in my country, in your state, anywhere we are, we are the promoters. Look at the Muslim communities. The Muslims, anywhere they go, they promote the agenda of Islam. That is what they have to But Christianity, 
Somebody will go and buy a car, and it's not a testimony. Buying a car is not a testimony. Many things we are celebrating in the church, God is ashamed of what we are doing. What God needs from us is to have what they call life-changing testimonies. We are the prostitute. We be transfer, transform to the kingdom preachers. We provide houses for them, send people to school, make sure that the kingdom of God is everywhere. And that's what you see in Nigeria. We have the biggest noise in the streets all over the world. Oh, Nigeria, we have many Christians. Look at what is happening. There's no need to go around. If someone like you and I discovered our place in the kingdom and establish the kingdom of God in every part of the northern Nigeria, I tell you, it don't need to struggle. People will be running to the kingdom. But what we are doing is just the same thing the Pharisees did before Jesus came. And that's when Jesus came, Jesus never rewarded any, any of them. So the noise we are making is not about God. It's about our personal empire, which can okay. be never. God is ashamed of that. So oh, my right, encouragement to everybody, we must have a big vision for God. Because don't forget that until we take over the land, Jesus can will you? never come. Praise the Lord. Can you hear me, sir? God I'm bless you. you. And God bless you. We have exceeded uh, most of our time. Because of our time, we are going to prepare uh, more for uh, other weeks. We are going to bring you in more to tell us more about the uh, about the about this Arise Africa. Um, uh, as Arise Africa, be a goal getter. Be a goal getter. How can you be a goal getter? There are steps that I have prepared that can help you to be a goal getter. One, I say you have to set your goals. You need a very clear concept of your goals. You need a very concept. For you to be a goal getter, you must know what you want. If you don't know what you want, you can't be a goal getter. Because a goal getter means that you have a goal to push you on. So for you to be a goal getter, first of all, you have to sit down and make a list. What do you want as a person? What do you want as an individual? How? What direction do you want to follow? This is uh, January 2021. Have you? Do you have any plan for this year? Do you have anything that you want to achieve this year? What plan do you have for yourself this year? What plan do you have to improve your level this year? Do you want, are you going to allow this year to run, to run off and you don't have any value to add to your life? For you to be a goal getter, you must always make sure that you add a value to your life. How do you add a value to your life? Preparing yourself to be more, to get more knowledge than you have before, to make more research to get what you don't have what you don't have before so that so that your value as a person we add now i i'm I, after setting your goal number two i said you have to be ready for hard work you have to be ready for hard work to no matter how your efforts prove abortive you must be consistent because the bible said in the book of uh, 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 Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2 to 3. He said, we must make our goal very clear. We must make our goal very clear in life. So that because when you make your goal very clear, as our pastor have said, then you will have something to pray upon. Because the Bible say, the Bible say, bring, he said, ask it shall be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. If you don't have, if you don't know what you are asking of, then it will be difficult for God to work on your case. So first of all, you must be very sure. What is that that you need? What is that that you need? So that you will have your goal set very uh, uh, clear. The book of Proverbs chapter 24, verse 27, he said that we must be ready for hard work. Don't, as our pastor said, don't sit down waiting for miracle. You must work for the, it is your work. Bible said that he will cause, he will bless the work of your hand. You have to be ready for hard work. You have to be ready to work hard. And while you are working, you put, you pray to God to help you to bless the work of your hand. Number three, I said you must be motivated. You must be motivated. You must be motivated. Vision the end. 
Hallelujah. Because most of our problem is that we are we 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 get tired very quick at the at, at the at the first uh, uh, at uh, temptation at the first uh, 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 tribulation or failure or maybe uh, laughter we just get uh, uh, we just lose hope. But the Bible says that in the book of Hebrews chapter ten verse it says that you have to have your confidence renewed. You must renew your confidence in Christ Jesus. You must have your confidence in yourself. If that this thing, I will get it because I am, I am capable of getting it. Hallelujah. You must make, be motivated. You must vision the end, not the process, because the process may not be easy. But if you vision the end, it will help you to go on that journey. And at the end, you, you, will, be, you will be able to achieve your goal. These are the steps that we are going to, that I would like you to, Take this year number four. You say organize yourself, prioritize your goal. That is why you must make your goal very clear. You must put down, you must write down your goals for 2020. This is what I want to do. And when you have wrote, wrote, when you write them down, you must prioritize them. Every 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 road that you are going to take, every activity that you are going to take must lead to your goal. The end must lead to your goal. You must prioritize your goal in every plan you are making, in every journey you are taking, in every uh, entertainment you are taking, in every joy or party you are picking. You must have your, you must be conscious of your goal because if you are not conscious of your goal, if you don't prioritize your goal, then you will miss it on the way. That is why the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18, it says where there is no vision, where there is no vision, you must have vision. Vision does not mean prophecy. No, vision means that you have a clear way or clear knowledge of where your life is heading to. You must have a clear knowledge where your where your activities are heading to. What is the end? What do you want to achieve in anything you embark on? What is the end that you want to achieve? If you know the end, it will help you to be able to walk on the right path. Hallelujah. Number five, he said. Number Six, he said, um, he said, uh, by a no, don't be discouraged by a negative comment, don't be discouraged by long distance. How many years? Maybe uh, uh, you, you want you would like to be, maybe you are just a, a street seller, you would like to be a doctor, you would like to be a, a, a lawyer, you would like to be a, 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 an engineer, you would like to be a professional. But when you look at what it will take you to sit down and read, when you say, I ah, look at discouraged by what it will take you don't be discouraged by the time don't just vision the end you have to vision the end because the bible said in the book of jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 he said blessed is one who confidence is in the lord because at okay. the end it will do what it will pay hallelujah oh, number seven, thank you so uh, much uh, eight, time. because of our time i'm rushing it number eight he said you have to uh, uh you have to you have to make sure that you put God first in your vision. When you write down your goal, when you set up your goal, you make it not to God. Every day you wake up, you have to remind God of your goal. Hallelujah. You have to prophesy the, the, the end because the Bible says that thou shalt decree a thing unto the Lord. The light of God will shine upon it. And it shall be established. Your mouth is your destiny. He said, "A closed mouth is a closed." Destiny. Help us. Who will make? Who will help you to make that vision come true? Because the Bible says in the book of uh, First Corinthians, I think uh, uh, fifteen verse five or so, he says sometimes God will put you in a battle, empty-handed, so that when you do get that, you will know that it is Him. There is nothing good that comes very easily. 
Don't go and be fasting for nothing when you are not working for something. You must be working for something. And when you are fasting, you are fasting that God, this work that I'm doing, let it yield a good fruit for me. And as Africans, our program say Arise Africa, I want to encourage every youth of Africa. I want to encourage everyone at the sound of our of our voice today that please, this is New Year. This is January. Set out your goal. Set out your goal. Put it place. Put it a place where you will see them. It doesn't matter how difficult that goal is. You are capable. God, as our pastor have said, we are we are the chosen generation. Africans is the last hope of humanity, and we must take up. We must wake up. And how do we wake up? Our hope lies on the youth. Please set up your goal. It doesn't matter how how long it tarry. If you walk towards your goal, at the end you are going to achieve it. At the end you are going to be victorious. At the end you are going to you are going to come out a victorious person. And your work, your time, your years must have paid for good, and you will enjoy it. Don't Thank forget you. to connect with us every Thank week. You on Kingdom Radio because we will still have more topic on Arise Africa. We are still going to invite more people. We are still going to bring our pastor, Pastor Prosper, because he has more knowledge on what this program is all about to give us more things on this program. So I give to uh, Pastor Chris, if you have a question, God bless you, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. I think um, because of, I see that the, this uh, topic is very deep. Uh, we, we can have hear to you, go sir. Yes, we have to go now because we have to postpone this uh, segment for next week so that we can have more time to look into what we are discussing. So I think we have to close for right now. And I use this opportunity to thank you, Adad Jesus. I also thank uh, Pastor Prosper for coming in. And um, it's unfortunate that the time is not enough, but I know that uh, whoever follow us today is really going to be blessed. So we have to now continue our uh, foundation worship that we have already played for uh, gospel ministers. We have to continue so that we uh, postpone this topic right now against next week, uh, Saturday. Thank you so much, Dr. Jesus. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much okay. because time is, time is not our friend. So uh, we look, it's very nice, it's a good one and um, Africa must arise to take their territory. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Pastor.